Hey guys, welcome to episode two of this Crafter Van build that we've started. It's been a hellish week, but you can expect a floor coming up, a mess being found, some holes being found, and a wheel arch or two being insulated. Let's take a look. going to come up in a moment. Uh, it's stuck down the middle with something. Unfortunately, this top is the, I don't know, the VW top that they put on flooring, so that's not going to come up easily. It's like a hard sort of matting. You know, it looks like it's fitted or fixed right down the middle. Hopefully with a bit of, uh, I don't know, sealant or something. So I'll go and get a flat bar and see what we can do. Anyway, I'll get back to you later. All I'm doing is finding things to try and wrench this floor up. You can feel it from that end. There is some sealant right down the middle there. So I'm going to use an old piece of wood and a bit of an old metal bed that we've got in the garage. I better get on with it before this music starts on Glastonbury though. So, crack on. Right, let's go and have a look. Oh, blimey. Always like an old man at the best of times, but we're not going to bad chest. Wow. Now look at that. That is an incredibly small amount of adhesive down the centre there. But, word of warning, do not try and price it up from that side there. Use the length of the floor. Use the floor as a lever and use it from this end. They look like torturous tools I was bringing in here, like the saw, the flat bar, parts from an old bed, and long cold chisel, etc. But uh, use what you can and this should come up. As I say, this was factory floor, should imagine. It's like a, I guess it is a, I don't know, laminated ply. I don't know, 10, 12 mil ply, very hard. 
been rebated properly on the edge. Come up in three pieces in total, as you can see. Filthy floor. I'm glad I actually decided to get it off, so we'll get this floor cleaned up. Check for any rust. I don't think any screws have gone through there. And we'll take it from there. Right, just before you start there, Ruth, you're going to tell everybody what you've got to do today, the ghastly job you've got. Well, I've got the job of cleaning all this, like, sticky stuff off the bottom of the van and um, sweeping it all out. And then I've got to scrub the floor and mop it all out so it's nice and clean to put the new floor down on. Cool. Okay. Right, I'll let you carry on with that and I'll go and get some bits and bobs to finish some other stuff. Yeah. Lovely. I mean, you're going for a sleep. No. It's a nice day though. We'll get the deck chairs out. <laughs> Well, how long does that say it took us on the, on the back of that? One hour, 49 minutes. One hour, 49 minutes of scrub, scrub, scrubbing. How do you feel? Back's aching, but I'm right. quite happy. I'm quite satisfied with how it looks, to be honest. It's satisfied. It's, uh, yeah. I'm going to get a cup of tea. It's, it was grease. My, my, my daddy makes grease. At the bottom of the, um, the floor, which I would imagine during manufacture, which is good, it's a good thing. But uh, of course, everything's stuck to it. Uh, God knows what it was underneath it. But it's gone now. Um, we will go around it, make sure it's all touched up. I don't think there's any rust anyway, is there? No. Um, make sure every he uh, hole is sealed. And um, take it from there, I've got a sore throat. It's good, it's good. Cold drink. Right, catch you later. Oh. Oh. Now, you may see this little series of holes, a little bit of a mystery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got underneath the van and they don't seem to be screwing anything on. They're literally just through the, the metal, stuck through about a quarter of an inch, something similar. Um, and then we've got a couple on the wheel arches as well, top of the wheel arches that um, I need to repair. Just where they bolted on the framework when they boxed in the wheel arches. But first things first, we'll um, vacuum up what I I miss a bit out. Eh? I've used this little beauty so I drilled a hole straight through so that we clean those holes up and then I've used just a, a countersink tool just to clear those up not too far down because we don't want to make the the metal chamfered and too thin um, but we just want to take the burrs off because um, I'll be sealing them just with a pot rivet great little tip from uh, Alex Frood I believe uh, mispronounced adventures Fantastic little tip, but just fill those holes up and put a bit of sealant on. But let's prep them first. is some amorite so here's a little brush I prepared earlier literally hammer right over those holes get it right through there any bare metal You know, we don't see this, so who cares? 
we just know it's protected. Right, I'll come back and repair those shortly, but let me show you the other holes that I've got. As you can see, they're a bit deeper. Sorry, a bit deeper. Ridiculous, they're a bit wider, I should say. Um, there we go, one there. And one there, I'll have to take off that sealant as well. But uh, yeah, we'll make sure that we've got those sorted. And then we'll put the pop it rivets on. We'll do that shortly. Right then, guys, this intro is going to be quick for two reasons. One, I'm trying to listen to Glastonbury, and I don't want the music coming on. Uh, lest I get sorted for the uh, the copyright laws. Um, the other thing is, I've got a very sore throat. I don't know if I mentioned it, suffering from man flu. So what have I done? This is a very strange shape to be sound deadening, insulating, whatever. Don't worry too much. Don't be afraid of overlapping this sound deadening. Two layers of sound deadening is better than one in my book, so why not overlap it? Right, first thing I've done is I've cut a little bit of a template for the front there. Okay, so I'll be using that to um, cut my first three pieces that I'm going to put there. I'm going to intentionally overlap it. Um, okay, uh, then I'm going to cut it down in sections and we can put them in like cheese wedges if you like, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to go. It is going to be a work in progress type thing, so let's have a look between us. That little bit there is still tacky, so I might leave a gap there actually. Um, and we'll do that uh, later on when we uh, put the pot rivet in there anyway, then we can go over the top of that. But uh, anyway, let's have a look, see how we get on. I will be honest with you guys, I think I've had it today. I was hoping to do two wheel arches, but um, yeah, one's my maximum. I think it's the floor just finished me off. Plus, the gorgeous Ruth is making me a Sunday lunch anyway. So I'm gonna get in, finish listening to Elbow at Glastonbury. They're sounding great. Take in the raster, Raph. Should we go in? Something to eat, a bit of crackling. Cool. Right, as I say, that's it for today then, guys. I shall catch you on another day. Bye-bye for now. Well, I don't know what you thought of that, guys, but um, let me tell you, the weather was fantastic whilst we were doing that last week uh, and into this week. Um, although, I don't know if you noticed, I had a bit of a sore throat. I battle through. I'm a trooper. I know. Don't, don't bring it up again. Um, a lot of the messy work out of the way this week, uh, thanks to Ruth for getting stuck in there. Uh, she quite enjoys... Um, getting stuck in when uh, you really can see the difference. And as you heard her say there, it's quite satisfying to get that done. Some of the nastier jobs, it's good to get out of the way early doors. That's done next week, next week's episode, you can expect the floor to be going back down. We're gonna be raising it um, on some two by one, we call it, slightly smaller than two by one. It's gonna have some uh, Kingspan insulation and it's going to be uh, the floor going back down after we've silver taped it. But that's for next week's episode and we'll progress. So hope you enjoyed this week. If you want to come back next week, um, we really do look forward to seeing you. And there'll be a little bit of a surprise at the end as well. I say surprise, I'll let you into a secret, the electrics turn up. So come and join us next week so you can see what we get up to. Take care guys.